we are going to write an expression for the inverse hyperbolic tangent x. And to begin with this, let's just call that expression to be something else. Let's say that's equal to y. So we can look at y equals to that, the inverse hyperbolic tangent x. This way, we get to apply the original hyperbolic tangent on both sides. And I'll just say that's the tench. So I'm looking at this as the tench y. And I'm going to do this right here as well. Original and inverse cancel each other out. So I'm looking at this as tench y equals to x. And now I can use the definition of tench y. Tench y is the same as e to the y minus e to the negative y over e to the y plus e to the y <laughs> equals to x. Okay? And if you look at this, my goal is to isolate the y. And let's just do the things that's like um, the usual things. This is e to the negative y. It's 1 over e to the y. It's secretly a fraction. Here we have a secret complex fraction. We don't like that. Let's multiply both sides, I mean on the top and bottom, by e to the positive y. And let's see what we get. Distribute e to the y into the parentheses. e to the y times e to the y, we get e to the 2y. And then we have the minus. And e to the y times e to the negative y, when you combine the exponent, y minus y is 0. e to the 0 is 1. So we have minus 1 right here. Over the denominator, e to the y times e to the y, you add the exponents, so you get e to the 2y. And then e to the y times e to the, this is negative y right here, actually. And you get uh, plus 1. Okay, And that's equal to x. My goal is to isolate the y. Okay, this way we can get an expression uh, instead of the inverse tangent, uh, inverse hyperbolic tangent x. Let's just multiply both sides by the denominator. So let me just show you guys real quick right here. You guys can see right here, e to the 2y plus 1. And I will multiply e to the 2y plus 1 so that they cancel. And let me put the work right here. I have e to the 2y minus 1 equals to this part. And of course, I can distribute the x into the parentheses. I have x e to the 2y plus, plus x, right? And let's put the ones that has the y's together. This is e to the 2y. This is x e to the 2y. Let me move this to the left-hand side. I will keep this right here, e to the 2y, and bring this to the left-hand side. We have the minus e to the um, 2y, but there's an x in front. And that's equal to, let me bring the 1 to the right-hand side, and let me put it down right here, 1 plus x. This way, we have e to the 2y, e to the 2y, so we can factor that out. So we do that, e to the 2y, and then we have 1 minus x. And that's equal to 1 plus x. And of course, now we can divide both sides by this guy, 1 minus x. And we'll do that. And we'll just left with e to the 2y equals to 1 plus x over 1 minus x. e to the something is equal to um, an expression. right? This is, and my goal is to isolate the y. Of course, we can just ln both sides. So that ln and e will cancel each other out. I have 2y equals to that ln parentheses 1 plus x, uh, my, I mean over 1 minus x. I want the y though, so let's multiply by 1 half on both sides. So they cancel out. Finally, I get my y by itself. And remember, y is what we said to be the inverse hyperbolic tangent. So let me just write this down. y is the same as the inverse hyperbolic tangent x. And now, I know y is the same as that. So we must have the inverse hyperbolic tangent x to be the same as that. And we are done. So we have the 1 half. Um, ln 1 plus x over 1 minus x. And this is the connection that we want. The inverse hyperbolic tangent x, it's the same as 1 half ln of 1 plus x over 1 minus x. And of course, we know how to handle the ln better than the inverse hyperbolic tangent. And this is it.